Junction, River City next. You're crazy with the heat. Credit is no good for an ocean salesman. Why not? What's the matter with credit? It's old fashioned. Charlie, you're an Anvil salesman. Does your firm give credit? No, sir. Nor anybody else. <laughs> River City, River City next. Cash for the merchandise, cash for the button hooks. Cash for the cotton goods, cash for the hard goods. Cash for the soft goods, cash for the fancy goods. Cash for the nuggets and the big and the perks. Look, what do you talk, what do you talk, what do you talk? You can talk, you can talk, you can bigger, you can talk, you can bigger, 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 you can talk, you can talk, you can talk, 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 bigger, 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 you can talk, all you want to, but it's different than it was. No, it ain't, no, it ain't, but you gotta know the territory. Shh, 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 shh,
Does he rebuffle his knickerbockers below the knee? Are certain words creeping into his conversation? Words like swell and social old man? If so, my friends. You got trouble. Oh, we got trouble. Right here in River City. Right here in River City. With a capital T in that rhymes with P and that stands for pool. That stands for pool. We surely got trouble. We surely got trouble. Right here in River City. Right here. With a T. With a capital T. Got a rhyme with P. That rhymes with P. That stands for pool. That stands for pool. Why do you think so mad at people just because he has 
It's not only because he lists fear. That's just part of it. Well, what's the other part? Never mind. It's just that he never really talks very much. Not even to you and your mother? No, dear. Sometimes we all have to be a little patient. Well, I'm patient, even though he doesn't ever talk to me. I get to hit every night on the evening star. You have to do it the very second, too. Or it doesn't count. Good night, my Winthrop. Sleep tight. There you go, darling. You have lots of time. If not, Winthrop, there'll be someone else. Never. I'll end up like an old maid like you. <laughs> For the time being, let's just say good night, my someone. We can fill in the name when the right someone comes along. All right. It's better than nothing. Yes, it is. Now you can play a cross hand piece. Now I may play my cross hand piece. set up here in Madison Gymnasium on account of the weather for score. Why does the school board not present a patriotic tableau? No, the school board will not present a patriotic tableau for some disagreement about costumes. Instead, the wonton ye girls of the local wigwam of Hiawatha will now present a spectacle with my wife. In which my wife, you lay man, but Captain Shin will now take a leading part. Wonton ye! Wonton ye! Wonton ye! Wonton ye! I will now count to twenty in the Indian tub. E T Tother Feather Fifth. I shot! George, who shot me? Who set off that firecracker? I know who did it. Tommy Gillis did it. Tommy Gillis did it. Yes, who's Tommy Gillis? Tommy Gillis, I will do. I will do. Mrs. Shane will. 
recover. Oh. The pain spiral spectacle of last days of Pompeii will take place, providing the name the rain stops by 9.30. How could it be raining? I don't think it's that predictive fair. Sure, you were, that's why we all prepared for a storm. Do you want to be advocate for the big thing in the Will you remember the school board saw the bigger in public? I'm uh, never mind. We heard there's a pool table in town. Yeah, that's what I heard. Now, just a minute. Is it a pool table or isn't it? Can we please get on with the exercises? We don't want any more exercises until we get this pool table matter settled. Let's protect our children. Yeah! Resist yeah! interruption. Yeah! yeah!
He was a piece on the go. You want a kid yet taking down Main Street after old school last Sunday? We just walk in there, just a piece. Don't you contradict me. He's a piece, let me go. You watch your phraseology. I know what you was doing, my little Grace Senior. Now you stay away from my oldest girl, or you'll know till who laid the rails. Hill, I'll talk to you about this band thing over at City Hall, 10 o'clock sharp. Constable, I'll be responsible for the boy. You don't know this kid. He's tough. He's got his gang right in outside. Now, Constable, I'll show you how to break up a gang. Oh, young lady, oh, miss, what's your name? Zanika, I had no idea you was back in me, ye gods. Zanita, do you know Tommy? Well, I... Tommy, this is Zanita. Escort the young lady home by way of the candy kitchen. Do I have to? You have to. Yes, sir. Ye gods. Professor, you're a pretty bright young fellow, but you made a couple mistakes, though. Oh! The mayor has on the billy pot and at her pool table. Oh, what was my other mistake? That's Zanita. She's the mayor's oldest girl. Hold on, sir. Watch your credentials. Academic certificate. Nothing of the kind. Letters and papers. They can put up a bond. What am I hearing? Say ice cream, ice cream. <laughs> Down low, ice cream. Talk slow, ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> say, say, Sustain talking now. Now you ice cream. Now you ice cream. Now you ice cream. Ice Man, myself. 
Gary, Indiana, gold medal, class of all five. Even should that happen to me, too, does that give you the right to follow me around wherever I go? Another thing, Mr. Hill, I'm not as easily mesmerized or hoodwinked as some other people in this town, and I think it only fair to warn you that I have a shelf full of reference books in there which may very well give me some interesting information about you.
virtuoso? I don't know if I understand you entirely, Professor. If your boy has that same firm chin and those splendid cheekbones, by George! Not that he could ever be really great, you understand? Um. Well, in the name of St. Bridget, why not? Because all the famous cornet players were Irish. But, Professor, we are Irish. No, no, really? That clinches it. Sign here. Your boy was born to play the cornet. Fine, fine. That will be seven dollars earnest money. Nothing more due until the first installment payable and opening of band practice. Thank you. And now I'll need his measurements for his band uniform. His uniform? Hello, son. Would it have a, a... A stripe? Certainly, my boy. A wide red stripe on each side. What do you think of that? Professor, you'll have to excuse Winthrop. We can barely get him to say three words a day, even to us. So if you get him to play in a band, it'll be a miracle. Where are you from, Professor? Gary, Indiana. In fact, Gary Conservatory was my alma mater. Why is she now? Gold medal, class of all five. Hello, Miss Brew. Mr. Hill. He wants to put Winthrop in the band. Do you listen to everyone's home like this? Marion, we're not interested. Why not let the boy's father decide? The boy's father is dead. Anything else? You'll have to excuse Marion. She's, well, please. Yeah. I'm sure that our heart is as lovely as yourself. Good day to you, Mrs. Peru. Good day, Professor. Marion Peru! Has she gone yet? Hopefully not forever, dear. Don't you think don't you ever think of your future? The fact that he claims his commodity is music does not, in this particular case, impress me. It's a well-known fact that if you keep the flint in one drawer and the steel in the other, you'll never strike much of a fire. Mama! Wake up, wake up, I know you're there. Please go to the library and ask Miss Grubb for the book I set aside. It's the Indiana State Educational Journal, 1890 to 1910. It's a large brown volume with black corners. Do I have stuff? You won't have to say anything. I've written it all down. Now, what are you doing with the book at this hour of night? I have a feeling the Indiana Journals may help me poke some large holes in the professor's claims. <laughs> Supper? Me, you wear the footbridge. Last time the lumber yard, now the footbridge, and rarely meet me after that in a black hole of Calcutta. Be God's Tommy, it's Papa. Didn't I say get that spellbinder here with those credentials? I said in morning, July 4th, 1912. Yes, George, but. And now the whole town is turned upside down. School boards in the up street and down the alley, instead of attending the city matters. I found something very interesting in this book about Professor Hill's alma mater. His who? His university. I know all about that. In fact, that's the only thing I can ever get out of him. Gary Conservatory, class of law at five. Well, if you just read a little bit about the conservatory, I don't think you'll have to look further. It's on page... Papa, the Wells Fargo wagon has just come out from the depot. At this hour day, the Wells Fargo wagon? It could be the management. The management? I want that man's credentials. Oh, the Wells Fargo wagon is a coming down the street, oh, please let it be for me. Oh, the Wells Fargo wagon is a coming down the street, I wish, I wish I knew what it could be. Fingers on my birthday. And across cuts off. Oh, the Wells Fargo wagon is up. Coming down the street, a brief hit of fries of COD. It could be curtains, or dishes, or a double balloon. Or it could be. Surely, surely, surely could be. Something special. Something very, very special now. Just for me. Coming now, I don't know how I could ever wait to see. It could be something for someone who is no relation, but it could be. 
from the vessel just for me. I want him tonight. Don't let him out of your sight. He's slipperier than Mississippi Sturgeon. Professor Hill, I think Mayor Shin has behaved abominably, and I think it was wonderful of you coming to Tommy's defense. A man can't dodge an issue every time a little personal risk is involved. What does the poet say? 
The coward dies a thousand deaths, the brave man only five hundred. I just wish I was a little more informed. I've been wanting to talk to you about Winthrop's cornet. His cornet? Mother of Pearl Keys? I'm sure it's fine, but he tells me about some think system. If he thinks of a new energy, he won't have to bother with the notes. Now, Professor, the think system is a revolutionary method, I'll admit, but we cannot discuss these things here in public. So if you'll allow me to call, when may I call? I have any other speech. Charlie Cow, anvil salesman. But just now, I'm not here to protect the good name of the traveling fraternity from this swindler. Mr. Cowell, you're making a big mistake. A mistake my old leaves course at cover. That man's been the raspberry seed of my wisdom tooth long enough. He ruined Illinois for me, and he's not going to ruin Iowa. Say, what kind of music teacher are you? You didn't see through him. He's no more professor than well, I know all about that. Band leaders are always called professor. It's a harmless deception. He's a fine director and his scholastic. Wait a minute. Fine director? Have you heard one note of music from any band? 
No, but... But nothing, girly girl. He just never formed a band in his life, and he never will. You'll never make the train at the depot. No, sir. I've got you to leave word. You have to the I've got to leave word, and I can see you're not the one to leave it with. Anvil salesman, huh? I've never met a man who sells anvils. That's something quite different. It takes a real salesman. Anvils have a certain appeal, you know? Oh, what am I doing? I missed the train, I'll get fired. I've got to leave word about that fellow Hill. Leave word with me. Not on your tin tie. How do I know you deliver these letters? Try me. There's your train. Now run for it. Why, you double teaming little? Who do you think you're protecting, huh? That guy's got a bill in every county in Illinois. That's 102 counties. Not counting the music teachers like you get coasted up to to keep their mouths shut. Neither one of you has heard the last of me, girly girl. <laughs> Darling, who was he just talking to? Why, Professor Hill. Why didn't you come with the soap on the porch? There's no jelly on the stove, Mama. Well, I'll... I'll go put some on. Well, I... Professor Hill, is it true that you... What I'm trying to say is... I must be very dull company for a man of your experience. No, say, we're here to deal with that. One hears rumors from traveling salesmen. I suppose you're referring to Uncle Maddie. Uncle Maddie? Mr. Madison, my father's best friend. He left me a shirt job for my mama with him and I was house for security. No, of course not. That's exactly what I'm saying. Why do you think people know those rumors? They remind me of jealousy. Jealousy mostly, I guess. Exactly. So jealousy mostly tells rumors about traveling salesmen. What have you heard? Just that. But of course, it stands to reason that uh, disappointment and jealousy can lead to to, I mean, take you for instance, your attention to customers and, well, music people.
And now, myself, you, Lady McCagnation, and the esteemed women of River City will be putting on a beautiful performance for you. One Grecian herb. <laughs> Two Grecian herbs. <laughs> Stop, stop. Listen to this man. You gullible green grass goats. I'm talking about Harold Hill, road agent, highwayman, pickpocket. Pickpocket? Same thing. He's been in your wallet, mister, and in yours, madame, and in yours, little lady, ever since the first moment he came to this town. There's more documented evidence than you'll ever have time to read. And if you don't hunt him down like a mad dog right now, there won't be any Harold Hill. He'll be on the next train out of town. Now will you believe me? Well, what are you waiting for? I want my money back. Money back? I want his hide. After him, when you find him, bring him to his skulls. After him. <laughs> I got it. What time does the break go? Um, 9.40 from the junction. Well, it's not even 8.30 yet. Look, you want to turn a turtle around and get yourself caught in a trap, you go ahead, but don't worry, Mars. I'll meet you over at the hotel in plenty of time. Miss Marilyn, you're late. But you said 15 minutes. Well, I meant you're about, well, I'd say... About 26 years late, it took you all this time to get to the footbridge, little fella. Well, not to know the truth, it was almost longer. Oh, halfway here, I nearly turned back. I suppose I'm not the first to find it easier to think clearly when not under the spell of your salesmanship. Now, Miss Marion, surely you don't think I've been selling you anything? No, you've given me something. That's why I decided to come. I don't recall giving. Oh, yes, you have. Something beautiful. Mary and I. I.
Who's the salesman here? Sounds like she's selling and you are buying. I had to keep her off balance, didn't I? Well, now she's so far off balance, you can't tell if I'm the cat or the hurricane. Go get the rig! <laughs> Never a peaceful moment in the band business. Now, where were we? You were about to tell me what I don't know about you. We don't really have to go into that just now, do we? No, we don't. Or ever for that matter. The librarian hasn't really felt like doing much research lately, but she did plenty when you first came here. Oh, about what? About Professor Harold Hill, Gary Conservatory of Music, class of Art 5. Harold, there was no Gary Conservatory in Art 5. Well, there certainly is the town wasn't built till Art 6. I'll see you at the social ball. You knew all the time? Since July 7th, three days after you came. Why, you little... He isn't anywhere around here. Let's try down by the creek. Winthrop! Wait a minute here, son. I'm not your son. Leave go. Not until I talk to you for a minute. I won't listen. You wouldn't tell the truth anyway. I would. I would, would not. Would too. Tell you anything you want. Can you lead a band? No. Are you a big liar? Yes. Are you a dirty rock crook? Yes. <laughs> Let me go, you big liar. What's the matter? You wanted the truth, didn't you? Now I'm bigger than you, and you're going to stand here and get it all, so you might as well quit wiggling. There are two things you're entitled to know. One, you're a wonderful kid. I thought so from the first. That's why I wanted you in the band, so you quit moping around and feeling sorry for yourself. What band? I always think there's a band, kid. I see other thing I'm entitled to know. Well, now that I think about it, that's none of your business just now. I wish you'd never come to River City. Winthrop, no you don't. Sister, you believe him? I believe everything he ever said. The way every kid in this town walked around here all summer and looked and acted. Especially you, Winthrop. And the parents. Does Mama wish you'd never come to River City? Well, you do, don't you? No, I don't, Winthrop. Now go, Harold, please. Come on, Professor, hurry up. I can't go. Why not? <laughs> For once in my life, I've got my foot caught in the door. Craig, Craig, they're here. That way, that way. Come on, Professor, that way, that way. Virtue has time. The sword of retribution has cut down Professor Harold Hill. If there are those melting car collecting fellows, I will not say them nay. Well, I should think some of you ought to be grateful to Professor Hill for what he's brought to the city. And I think you should be able to forget our ever our everlasting Iowa summer chip on the shoulder arrogance long enough to remember our town before he arrived. Do you remember it? Well, do you? I really think some of you should be grateful to him. And if you are, I think you should admit it. You're wasting a great deal of time here. If there's a person in this park who doesn't think Hill should be tarred and feathered, please step forward. Eulalie, step back. Tell me what you want, what you really, really want. <laughs> I want it that way. Papa, let it go, let it go. <laughs> Have you people forgotten how you bought expensive uniforms, technical books, and high-priced banishments? Have you people forgotten the clear understanding and warranty that your children would be taught to play in a band? Where's the band? Where's the band?
Beautiful person's yeah, forever is Mrs. Connell. Yeah. You're welcome. She has spent so much time every single day after school, during the school day, working with us to make sure we look great on stage. And who has always been with us, making us laugh the whole time. And if you'd like to come up stage, you can. Thank you very much, guys. You're Congratulations. Welcome.